Well, we cleared up all that. Go up smashing when we're done. Now then, welcome to the video. Before we start, I just say to say a big thank you to all the comments that you've left on the last video, which was our hundredth video. Um, I will get around to answering it. Many thanks, but I've been mad busy with other bits and bobs. Anyway, last week's video was all about having our engine taken out. I'll leave a linky thing in the box upstairs, wherever it is, um, for you to click on if you haven't seen that yet. Um, so once we'd had that engine out, it was time for us to um, clean the bilge out because it was a bit of a mess. In fact, it's pretty grotty. So today's video is all about that. It's all about painting the bilge in the engine room. Have a guess what colour we're doing it. I bet you can't. <laughs> anyway, let's crack on. Well, we cleared up all that and then uh, cracked on, started cleaning up and using some of this stuff, it's called jazz. It's old as God's dog, that. But it's cracking stuff, does the job. You can see underneath there, that was all black, like there. Anyway, we'll keep going. So I've got to clean all that out, get rid of all that grease and dirt and everything like that. And then I'll have to put a bit of rust killer on, we'll have a coat of bilge paint, or a couple of coats of bilge paint anyway. So yeah, I've just got all that lot to go away. Man, I keep these here. Nappy's coming handy. Go up smashing when we're done. Then got to use my bilge pump. <laughs> I haven't used it yet. It worked a treat. Got everything into that bucket. <laughs> I think we're going to call it a draw for today anyway, because we're both a bit tired and it's like four o'clock or so, so five o'clock or so, so we'll crack on. Getting good solar as well. Well, stay whatever it is. And I'm back on this build. Um, this uh, cleaner stuff pretty good, actually. I uh, just scrub it on, give it a rummage round, and it certainly comes up a lot better. I mean, all that was black the other day. Yeah, it's a bit dark in here, but I'm going to clamber down in there. I've stuck some nappies in. Bilge's best friend. And I'm going to get down underneath there. Uh, and give her a good clean now you see i've already done a bit there and you can see how good it's come up but what i'm going to do is just apply some of the stuff with the scrubbing brush the cleaner um and then wipe it off with a bit of rag i'm just going to need a few going overs there's the exhaust silencer there but yeah as you can see all that is a proper mess under there and this bit here is really greasy yeah. and underneath that Better get on. There you can see how different it looks just from that wipe down there. I've got to do a bit more work underneath there around the um, exhaust bit there. But I'm not going to go too mad. I'm going to clean that all off. It'll need a rub down obviously. So there you can see the difference in the colour on the side here. So this has been hammerited, the silver hammerite over the top by the looks of things of a red primer so yeah and this thing here it's a bit annoying really but i've got to keep moving it about to clean up probably should take it out away if i can no i can't <laughs> i'll keep going i'm going to get this corner done today get it out of the way up to the weed hatch there all this cleaned out and wiped down and then it's ready for 
another degreaser at a later date. I'll go around the whole thing first, just to make sure. Anyway, I'll leave when I come back later. It's a bit cleaner. I've got that far. Done down there. Done down that there, neath that bit of wood. And the back of there is done. Over the top of there, into the corner, and all the way around to there. So that's top bit done on this side. So let's go on the other side now. That's about me done for the day. Um, as you can see, there's a little bit of dirt still left in there, but I've degreased it all. So I've done all the way around the back there, all the way around there, and all the way around here. So all that's left to do now is this section here and the bilge where the engine is there so those two sections are really bad really grotty but what i'm going to do is i'm going to get the top half painted in first it all cleaned up painted in um just save me a bit of time then really and i can get rid of the rest of the stuff out of here well here we are again i've just degreased all this lot here down there and across there um, give it a bit of a rub down as well with uh, my grinder if you can see that in the sunshine it's a beautiful day should be outside doing the roof but I've only got a few weeks left to get this done so I'm gonna set this up now so I can paint across there paint this bit and I'm gonna paint in here today as well we're gonna get this all first coated or at least first coated if we can get it second coated that'd be lovely get all that done. What I did realise after I'd done all this was uh, I ain't done the walls yet and they need doing. But I've got a plan. <laughs> Let's see if it works out. Eh? Right, I'll bring you back once I get this all uh, cleaned up and ready to go. There we have it. All degreased nicely. Ready for the first coat. She's dried out. I washed her down with some clean water, rinsed her off and dried her all out. And she's ready to go. I think I'm hoping that I got right underneath there. It was a bit of a bit of a tight squeeze. But anyway, that's what she used to look like. Now she looks like that. There we go. She's first coated. Um, brilliant white. What a colour, hey? It's going to be shiny in here. Oh, by the way, them runs that are in the corner there, they're not mine. They're from a previous paint job. But yeah, looking cracking. So I rolled it on a cutting round. Using a brush around the edges there. What I'm going to do next time is just roller it straight on. I'm not going to bother cutting in with a brush. Looking lovely. Well, I've made it back to the boat, so now I'm going to check on this uh, engine bay and see what we're like. Hopefully, nothing's bled through and it'll just be a straightforward second coat. Let's have a look. Ooh, not too bad at all. There we go. You can got a bit of wildlife. Excellent. Second coat done. You can see the back there's only had one coat. I'm going to do that all in and I want to clean all that back bit there. Yeah, looking all right. But I think we're going to need to do another one. At the very least. But it looks good. Eat your dinner off that. There we are, looks lovely and clean there. Got that done, underneath there is done. Just got that section to clean in there. And I've got to get rid of all of this stuff out of the way. I'm gonna use some bungee cords, I think. Get that all out of the way and clear all the rest. And then tomorrow we can start painting. I've had some good news from John, the engineer. Our engine should soon be back where it rightly belongs. We'll have a full rundown about all the bits and bobs he had to do on it. A later date. First coat of the all. Um, it was pretty greasy, so that area there and that area there, they've bled through a bit. I'm hoping my second coat will do that. If not, I'll have to put some sort of stain block in. <clears throat> but everything's looking nice. Um, I managed to daub everything in paint, so I'm going to have to clean all that off afterwards. But yeah, looking good. Got to get a shifty on because next week, uh, well not next week, the week after is engine back in day.
All set and coated up. Still a few dodgy bits here and there, but I'll get them tomorrow with another flash coat. Just a light one tomorrow to go over. I'm not going to stand in it because it all started peeling off and I ended up <laughs> dredging it through the boat, so I had to clean all that up. Yeah, and I better clean that up as well. Time for the second coat, I think. Yeah. A few bits over in that bit. I mean, that bit seem a bit bluey coloured, but I treated them with a rust treatment. Maybe it didn't dry enough or reacted with the oil that was left in there. I did degrease it best I could, but you never know. I've got to take that pipe off as well. Remind me, because they dropped a bit of crap in the end of there. That bit there. So, <clears throat> got to get that out. Right, let's keep going. Looking good. Um, just got another coat to do on the walls there. Bottom is all done and dusted now. Bit of clean up to do. I've got to take that pipe off, like I said. <clears throat> and I've got to clean up that wiring that I've got paint all over. But it shouldn't take too long. Looks a bit of a mess there, but I'm sure after I've cleaned it a lot better. Then I've got to do all these walls, but I'm going to leave that till later in the year because the outside needs doing. Yeah, better get on with that now. Final day of painting in the uh, bilge in the engine room. Um, as you can see, everything in there is looking pretty good. I'm going to touch up a little bit in that corner there um, where the uh, skin tank is, and then I'm going to coat the back all across there. And that should be the end of it. That mess of wires there is what goes to the engine. We're going to clean them up a bit as well once we get the engine back in, which is going to be hopefully next Friday. Uh, we're on Sunday now, so not long now. Got to get it finished, done and dusted, all clean and tidy and put back together. There we go, done and dusted. Get your dinner off that. Well, when it's dry, you could. Maybe not. Now that's a clean old bilge. <laughs> so the day is fast approaching when our trusty but quite unreliable BMC engine is rebuilt and refitted into the engine bay back on the boat where she belongs and it's all going swimmingly ish go on then let's have a sneaky peek boat moving day and i'm having a mare oh that sounds encouraging <laughs> any road that's everything on my list if you made it this far thanks for watching and remember to i can never say that but remember to like subscribe and if you click that little bell icon, YouTube will mind you next time we release one. Well, I reckon we'll call it a draw for this one. Till next time.